because I, I I hear like my dad or like you know my mom like reminisce on music and be like oh that was my song i was just like man what are people gonna say what what's gonna be like what are you gonna get what's gonna be the song you dance to at your wedding you know what i'm saying like i was just like i don't like there's a couple joints but i couldn't think of that many like what what are gonna be those songs that age extremely well that are timeless music and, I, and then i started being like i want one of those you know like i want one of those and um, 40 found this incredible group, Magic Jordan, um, and they're about to like blow the world away. And they had this like little demo idea that was like, you know, a, an incredible, it's like sort of scratch vocals, you know, just here and there. And um, it was that beat. And I came up with this, just hold on, we're going home. I had like seen it somewhere. And I was like, that, that would make a great hook. Just that phrase looked really good, like on paper. Um, but we, we did it in one night together. It was like an incredible working experience. And from there, I was like, if I want to make a, a commitment in my career to be the guy that like pushes music forward a bit, um, I think I should drop this record. And we all kind of agreed that it that it would be the next single. And the video is about to come out this week. I'm always loyal to, to Young Money. You know, you, you always hear me represent as best I can. I think it's been established that at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't have asked for it to go any other way. But at the same time, you know, I become my own my own artist and my own entity. You know, I didn't. Um, I, it could have gone a lot of other ways, but it, it went this way. And I talk about it on the album as well. But um, yeah, I just try and be as loyal as I can, you know. And but at the end of the day, I'm 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 gonna be Drake, you know. And and uh, I believe in what I believe in, you know. And I like I love, you know, I love Stunner and I love Wayne with all my heart. Yes, I do. I always want more. I'm for some reason like ready to go back and start working on new music. Well, I think less than the dollar value, it's just more about um, the idea of growth and business business mindset too. You know, 25 million um, at the time seemed crazy to me, but when you start becoming a headlining touring act and, you know, brands want to get involved with you and you can go do private events and whatnot, it's, you know, you're capable of making it. And now I want to, you know, for sure, obviously keep touring, keep making music, but now I see that there's other ways um, um, you know, as far as like, you know, this global ambassador thing, as far as maybe starting, I want to invent some, I want to start a company. I want to do something that has maybe nothing to do with music. I think that I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can because I've uh, given up a lot of years as far as um, maybe like nurturing like personal relationships go and um, you know trying to build things like a, a family or a relationship or a, I don't I don't like I don't do any of that I just kind of work I don't want to be number two I, I think that would be a weird thing to sit here and say or I don't care what you know I I, I want to make this the city proud you know that's a main reason for me and number one it takes a while to even um, I, I, I like to say I just want to win but at this at the same time, you know, I always feel like me being out here pushing what I'm doing and pushing OVO, it only makes the label look better, you know. So I just try and make it like a joint thing, you know. Every everything I do is is hopefully a positive to young money. And you know, this album I hope is, you know, I hope it does incredible things and I hope they're proud and whatnot. But I've always been super loyal. I've always did my own thing, you know. I'm just like I'm the kid from Canada that stays in Canada for real, you know. Like I don't, I don't just like be just hanging around for no reason. Like I come around when when it's time, and when it's not, I go and work. That's just my thing, you know. And a lot of people take that as like, oh, well, I'm not really, you know. I'm, a, but I just want to let everybody know, like I, I have nothing but love for those guys, and and uh, I'm just here as Drake in front of you. That's me, like you know, that's my. Th